So anybody who gets into filmmaking, photography, understands and quickly realizes that there are a lot of things that you pretty much have to buy. Now everyone usually starts with some sort of basic camera and lens and you're good to go. So by no means am I saying all this stuff is a necessity, but over time as you develop your career, your skill set, whatever, over the years you generally start to accumulate these things and when you realize that you have to buy the next step up, maybe something more professional or your first time buying it, these are the top five things that you kind of have to get, but you really hate spending money on. First up, we have light stands. Whether it's the cheap stuff like this that kind of comes with a lot of lights or you just pick up on Amazon every once in a while, or more expensive C-stands, the good ones definitely can get pretty pricey. And once you go all out and pick up a couple C-stands, you'll be super happy. You can do a lot more crazy setups. You can put things over top and heavier loads without having to worry about them falling over. Problem is, is like a handful of other things on this list, you don't just need one, you need a handful of them in order to really get the job done, have a good amount of grip equipment, get some for lights, get some for diffusers, it never seems to stop. Next up, we have cases and bags. I think most of us remember the first time buying something like a Pelican case, although it's super awesome the fact that you can like drive over this thing with your car, throw it in a river without having to worry about your gear getting wet, or generally just feeling a lot safer with your gear on like an airplane. They are an absolute necessity for carrying sensitive, fragile, or just expensive camera gear from location to location but man do I hate buying these things as they can get ridiculously expensive. And just like the light stands, you can't just get one. And on top of that, as soon as you start upgrading from bags to Pelican cases or whatever, you're left with all these different camera bags that were expensive, so you're not just gonna throw them away like an old school backpack. And so you end up just having this closet full of camera bags. So yeah, consider these on the list of things I hate to buy. Next up we have hard drives. Whether it's a small portable one like this, buying more internal hard drives to go in something like a server or Drobo, whatever. The issue of having better cameras that shoot in much higher resolutions, bit rates, raw encodings, and in general just shooting way more content than you ever have before, you're constantly having to buy new hard drives and yes, they have come down a lot in price. But when you look at like what I have in here, which is a bunch of 10 terabyte Seagate Barracuda drives, which go for about 400 bucks a pop, buying one or two every six months or so has been rough. And hard drives probably have the highest failure rate of any other piece of gear on this list in comparison to something like a light stand or a Pelican case, which can last nearly a lifetime. With these, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when they are going to fail, which means not only if you just need more storage, but you still have to replace these every three to five years anyway. And hard drives are incredibly hard to resell, unlike any other piece of gear on here. If you buy something that's quality, you can get a pretty decent resale value. But these, this four terabyte Seagate whatever, which was probably about, I don't know, 200 bucks or something, in another two years, it's gonna be worth about 50. And the fact that it's already a couple years old and used, no one's gonna wanna buy that hard drive. And don't even get me started on memory cards and media that you have to save to. You see, I feel very lucky with the fact that Blackmagic cameras can record over USB-C to like T3, T5, and now T7 cards, or pretty much any other SSD, because the cost per value, storage, whatever, these are incredibly good value. Back in my photography days, having to buy um, CF cards and now CFast cards, heck, even some SD cards with high high storage capacities and high data rates can get extremely expensive and you need multiple not only to fill up but for redundancy. So to me, there is nothing fun about buying memory cards. Right beside the list of light stands is tripods. Literally this shot would not be possible without a tripod because 
crypto i'm another cameraman and again just like light stands we all usually start with some really really cheap tripods that are meant for like photography or something and then we start to get into video and we're like oh man i need some smooth pan and tilting and once you keep moving up in the movie industry they can get pretty scary in some hefty five figure numbers and staying down in the content creator sort of realm and commercial work they're still pretty pricey i have two tripods one ignore the slide around here is this manfrotto carbon fiber thing that i bought for ces a couple years back this tripod was like 300 bucks and then the tripod head i have two small hd 502 heads i think these are like 150 a piece and then my main tripod the one that the camera is currently on right there this is another Manfrotto, I forget the name of it, uh, was another five or 600 bucks. Again, it's a huge necessity because you need smooth tilts and pans and movement. Not only that, but you need something that you can trust with your very expensive lens, cameras, batteries, and everything up top. You don't want this thing falling over. So you gotta buy a good tripod. And last, but certainly not least, can you guess? Give you a second. If you guessed batteries, you guessed correctly. Now, whether it's smaller batteries for your cameras, lights, and whatever, or giant cine batteries, everyone knows that you have to have a bunch of them constantly charged, and man, can these things get expensive. You're in a constant debate of, ooh, do I go OEM or do I go third party? What are the reviews? Are they holding their charge well? Do they charge fast? If you have a setup and you either went V mount or gold mount, then you're going to get something like this, which this is probably one of the smartest and best buys I've ever had in my life, but also the one that hurt the most pulling the trigger. When I bought this thing, it was $650 for this single battery. And the reason I went with it is because it's the V190, it's 190 watt hours. This thing is not legal to go on a plane. This is the most storage capacity in terms of battery power that I could possibly find anywhere. And so just running my camera alone, no monitor, this thing can go like 14 or 15 hours with a monitor. It's still roughly around seven, eight hours. And so this is absolutely crucial and has saved my life on so many shoots. But again, this one stung real hard. So I'm curious, what do you guys think about this list? Do you agree? Are there other things that you find even more annoying to buy? I thought about doing some sort of honorable mentions, whether it's like cable ties or camera plates and mini little grip equipment, stuff that's not very expensive, but still you have to buy a bunch of and is super annoying. But remember, if you're just getting into the video game, understand that buying lenses, buying cameras, computers, that's all fun and that's all great, but there's a ton of accessories that are absolutely crucial to making sure that you can actually succeed in a good video. And so while you certainly don't need to start at the top or get any of the gear I mentioned at the prices that I've mentioned, I've built all this stuff up over the past 10 years or so. If you have the money saved up, invest in good stuff now because then you don't need to replace it every couple of years. But no matter what, pressing that buy button is going to sting. And that's just the way it works. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you in the next video.